Well, hello. We need to start topic five and do 5A, B, C, D, and E. Now, before we get into 5A, which is actually a, a pretty small question, I wanted to address the handouts that, that we're using for your course. So these are the Mendel handouts that we were talking about, his data set and his classic cross where he then in, inbred the heterozygote and then was able to e explain it. There's a page after the Mendel images that addresses sickle cell anemia. And IB loves to ask this question on their exam. And this is a pretty detailed handout. And I'm going to wait until we get back into class because this ties into a human anatomy and physiology question that we will get to in course six when you are all seniors. So for right now, leave this image out of your core and we will come back to it in, a, in just at a later date. Okay, so we're after question 5A today, which is a smaller question in all honesty. So it says PCR, which stands for polymerase chain reaction, can be used to amplify, to make samples larger. So PCR can be used to amplify small amounts of DNA. So if you have a small amount of DNA and you want a large amount of DNA, it's an extremely common technique in the lab to use PCR. So... Let's see how PCR works. So question 5A. And let's draw ourselves a little DNA. Just, just a little DNA molecule, very, very simple helix, fine. And then when you go from one copy of DNA to two copies of DNA, cells do this every time before they replicate, whether it's mitosis or meiosis. So here's one copy of DNA. Here's your two copies of DNA, fine. And the process of going from one copy to two copies of DNA, you know, is semi-conservative DNA replication. Cool. Now there's an enzyme that functions in this process. And the enzyme that functions in DNA replication is, of course, DNA polymerase. Most enzyme names end in ACE. So ACE tells you it's an enzyme. A polymer is a chain. So a polymerase is an enzyme that makes chains. Well, it makes a long chain of what? DNA. So DNA polymerase is an enzyme that makes long chains of DNA during semi-conservative DNA replication. Fine. Well, why is that important? Well, when we were doing the biotech labs, and we will get back to those, don't forget. Let's say that you have a tube, one of the micro centrifuge tubes, little whitish cloudy tubes that we handled in lab, and you have a very small amount of DNA. And you want a very large amount of DNA. So come over here and draw multiple copies. Okay. So what you do is in this first tube, you dump the enzyme that actually does the process of DNA replication. And actually, you know more about this DNA polymerase than I have mentioned. You know that this is actually DNA polymerase three. And we'll talk about DNA polymerase one when we get into core six. So the process of going from a small amount of DNA to many millions of copies of DNA involves a polymerase, and it's a step-by-step -step reaction. Thus, this is a polymerase chain reaction. Or what people in the business call PCR. It's an extremely common technique. It's very simple. You get a tube, you get a micropipetter, you inject your DNA, you inject your enzyme, and then you know that enzymes are temperature sensitive. And so there is a small device called a thermocycler. Thermo as in a 
reference to temperature and cycling going up and down. And so what you do is there's little holes in the top of the thermal cycler and you put your tubes in the top of the thermal cycler and you close the lid and it literally gets warm, gets cold, gets warm, gets cold very, very quickly. That's why these little machines are expensive. And as the enzyme gets warm and cold and warm and cold, every cycle doubles the amount of DNA that's in your tube. So what PCR allows you to do in the lab is take a very, very small quantity of DNA what is considered minute, not minute, minute, very, very little. And you then do PCR, which means that you amplify the sample. Well, just like a guitar amp makes the sound larger, when you amplify a biological molecule, you simply get more of the molecule. And so you go from a minute quantity to a very large quantity. This is why in the 90s, before PCR was developed, the, the only way that, that they could get a DNA sample from someone was to have a sample of their blood, large numbers of cells, large amounts of DNA, and so they could then separate it on a gel. Well, once PCR was developed, you could just do a cheek swab, and once you got a small quantity of the individual's DNA, you just amplify it, and then the biotech process of, of either screening or profiling is all the same. So, that's question 5A. It's quick. Have fun.